Hello dessert fans, it's Anna Olson here and I'm super excited. Today's recipe has been voted on by El Gourmet viewers from Venezuela. So can you guess what the dessert is? Layers of sponge cake, coconut cream and a meringue frosting? Yes, it's bien masabe. So I'm gonna jump right into it starting with the sponge cake. The sponge cake portion is easy to make though it does take a lot of eggs, eight. I've already separated them and I have my egg whites in the mixer. Of course, you can use electric feeders. And I'm going to whip this up and slowly pour in my sugar. You wanna whip your egg whites until they reach a stiff peak. Okay, my egg whites are at a stiff peak. So now I stir in the eight egg yolks, which I've saved, and a splash of rum. And I just use my whisk to do this. All right, now it's time to sift in my flour and I'll give it first a quick whisk and then finish by folding. And now I'll pour the cake batter into my pans. I've got two eight inch, 20 centimeter pans. And what I've learned about Bien Masabe is it really is a cake made with love because it takes a long time. You can taste the love in it. And now the cake is ready for the oven. I've preheated it to 350, that's 180 Celsius. And these take 30 to 35 minutes to bake. And here are the sponge cakes out of the oven, out of the pans, completely cooled. But now, that means I can focus all of my attention on this delectable coconut cream. Now, you'll have to forgive me, I've had to adapt a little bit. Sadly, by the time coconuts reach me here in Canada, they're not so nice and fresh. So I've had to adapt here and use tinned coconut milk. I'm treating it almost like a pastry cream because I know the Venezuelan Bien Masabe cream has a combination of the coconut, but also lots of egg yolks. But I am starting by combining my sugar and cornstarch in my pot, a little salt. That way, when I add my milk and my coconut cream, the cornstarch will thicken the custard. And then I add my egg yolks at the very end. Bien Masabe has been around as a cake for over 400 years. It's got such a great history. That gives it a lot of meaning and I can understand why it is so treasured. Now that my custard is thickening up, I can pour some of it into my egg yolks. And now that I've warmed up the egg yolks, I can add this all back to the pot and you only need to cook it for a minute more. And once I take this off the heat, I'll add a splash of rum. I'll let that coconut cream cool and then chill completely before we assemble the cake. All right, now it's time for the best part. It's time to assemble this beautiful coconut layer cake. I've already made a rum syrup. This is a rum simple syrup, combination of sugar, water, and then after that boils, I stir in my rum. And that'll be used to brush on top of the sponge cake. So let's get going. One layer at a time. I'll start with a base layer of sponge cake. I've learned that a good bien masabe should be nice and soft and moist, so I'm going to use lots of syrup. Now, I'm gonna add a generous amount of coconut cream. Is this the right amount? I'd love to hear from you, not just how I'm doing, but how did you grow up enjoying bien masabe? And how do you do it differently, and how do you make it special? Is this enough coconut cream for a single layer? And I'll just keep adding layers of sponge cake, brushed with syrup, and more coconut cream. This is a bit of a wiggly cake, so I know I wanna chill this to let that syrup soak in and the coconut cream settle into place before I finish the meringue frosting. The meringue for this cake is actually a Swiss meringue, which means you heat egg whites and sugar together. That gives your meringue structure, it fully cooks the eggs, makes it sweet and glossy. I've got my four egg whites here. I'll add a touch of salt and my sugar. So to make a Swiss meringue frosting, you need to warm your egg whites and sugar together. I'll do this to 140 Fahrenheit. So I've placed my egg whites over a pot of barely simmering water to warm them up. While you're heating your egg whites and sugar, you need to keep whisking, but you don't have to whisk vigorously. And this only takes a couple of minutes. All right, there we go. And right into the mixer, or you can use electric beaters. And I whip this until it's a stiff peak. This gets really glossy and it's easy to work with, but 
You have to work with a Swiss meringue as soon as it's done whipping because it sets up quickly. When you're using a Swiss meringue on any type of cake, try and avoid pulling the meringue off. So always put on extra. That way your spatula doesn't come in contact with the actual crumb of the sponge cake itself. Then I put the meringue onto the sides of the cake. Now if you happen to get some crumbs into your meringue on the sides of the cake, don't worry about it because we're going to cover it up with coconut. I've got my toasted coconut on a pie plate. That way, as I sort of pull it up and onto the cake, any extra coconut just crumbles right back down. And there we go. And any remaining meringue can go into a piping bag if you wish. I've got a plain tip and I'm just going to pipe a little detail on top. And there we go. Wow! This bien masabe really came together. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I can imagine that fluffy meringue frosting hiding the sponge cake and all that coconut cream inside. Well, what am I waiting for? Let's give this a taste. Wow, look at all that filling. Oh, now that is a slice of cake. Look at those light fluffy layers. Look at those sponge cake layers and all that coconut filling. Now I know why that recipe makes such a large batch of coconut cream. You want all that filling in there. That fluffy meringue frosting. Mm. That truly is bien masabe. I can understand why this just cures the soul. Mm. This cake truly is bien masabe. And while I haven't visited Venezuela yet, at least I can say I've tried some of its desserts. Gracias.